you know, if we go back to like 70s, maybe early 80s, and we started to see robotics show up in factories, you know, it was factory workers who went, you're going to take away our jobs. Mm -hmm. We're going to lose our job. And sort of the ruling classes and, you know, bankers said, it's the future, baby. Mm -hmm. Reskill. Mm -hmm. Well, the pendulum doth swing, mm -hmm. you know? Now the bankers do. Because, yeah, because your plumber really is not threatened by AI. Yeah. The baggage handler at the airport doesn't care about AI at all. And it's now largely affecting knowledge work, not, not the, the blue collar work. Even creative work. You know? And so, you know, it's the future, baby. Mm. <laughs> I had a conversation with somebody from the IRS a bunch of years ago. And he said, he said to me, when we digitized taxes and got rid of all the accountants and the machine, you know, the machine could then read the taxes and the, the tax forms. Do you know how much money we saved? Because there was big predictions about how much money they were going to save by digitizing taxes. The answer is zero. Because all the money they saved on accountants, they had to build up their IT department. We're already starting to see, you know, data centers. You know, we're forgetting that people do matter in the system. You know, and the rise of data centers, it won't be managed by robots. There'll be people there.